everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to export a file in Fusion 360. So all of you might have no noticed that all of your projects, like here, all these projects are saved in your Fusion 360 account instead of what, instead of your PC or OneDrive or whatever. And yet, say you want to export and save it on your computer. So I'm just going to show you how to export a file. But first we need something to export. If you want to pause the video right now and make something to export, go on ahead or just open up another file you made to export. Go ahead. I'll just be creating something very quickly. Okay, now this is the box I'm going to export. So, in order to export, we must go down to File and say Export down here. So, File, Export. But before we even export, we have to choose where to export. So you could open your file folder because what I find helpful is to find where I'm going to export it before I actually export this file. So I'll open my file folder. And I have a Fusion 360 um, folder. So I'm going to be exporting it to my, my name and Fusion. So now since I know where I'm going to export, I can close this out. So now you just go to File, Export. And there are many types of files. But we want Autodesk Fusion 360 archive files because if you open it, then you see. Okay. Sorry, if you open it, then you you can you can see it in Fusion 360. But there are others, like a lot of different. I have done 3D printing before. I'm not sure which 3D printer, but I always do it as an STL file. But it really varies on what type of 3D printer you're using and all that. Now, since we have established our type. Autodesk Fusion 360 archive files, also says point F3D. We must choose our location. So since my location is here, I am alright. You can also choose whatever your location you have. And it's going to name this box. Save that. And since we have our name, our type and location all figured out. Now we can export. Sometimes it takes a little longer if you have a bigger or let's say um, more spacious, if you know what I mean, because on computers they measure by gigabytes, gigabytes and so much. So I said my box is ready and I would like to show and explore. So now you see this icon will come up unless you have view or in details. The icon still comes up, just very small. So now we have box, and we should. And if we click on it, it opens Fusion 360 and opens your file. Sometimes it takes a bit of time for Fusion 360 to just open up. This error has occurred, but that is alright. Since we already have Fusion 360 open here, and this is my box that I made. So we can open our box from here. Or if we're already in Fusion, we can open it from our data panel. That is it for this video. 
just please consider that there are many different files you can export like types of files so make sure you always choose the fusion 360 archive files that's it for this video and please leave in the comments if you have any ideas for tutorials that i can do or anything like that that is it so everyone have a great day